As a top 1000 player, one of the things that I've mastered in this game is spray control. And I'm going to be taking you through some tips and tricks and what I use specifically to master this skill. I'm going to be basing a lot of my tips off of Alicia's old guide from CSGO. This is what I used about 2-3 years ago to actually get good at spraying. I think that a lot of people know that they have to have a good spray to play, but they don't actually know how to practice it effectively. They know about the maps, but they don't know the methods, so I'm going to teach you that today. In Counter-Strike 2, there's a map called Recoil Master, made by Ulytical. He's the guy who made it in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and it's basically the same map, so I'm going to show you how to use it. There's a few visual changes, but effectively the map is the exact same, so I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is you always want to be locked in this position by hitting the lock button and you always want to have the dummy target enabled and what the dummy target does is it'll give you stats on your spray okay so i'm just going to spray at a target here i'm just going to shoot at the body okay what you'll see is that there's a bunch of text that pops up in the chat and so what i want you to focus on are these numbers in the back here so you you can ignore the first couple um, and you can ignore basically everything else. You're just going to be focusing on head and chest. So the two different types of training you're going to do are shooting at the head and then shooting at the body. Um, and the reason you do that is the head is a smaller target, so you practice really focusing in um, on a smaller target. And the chest is a larger target that's more common. Um, and it's just a way to get more reps uh, with the easier um, check of your skill. So from Elysia's guide, you should be going for about a 55% average shots hit in the head with the AK, about a 95% body shot hit percentage, and with the M4 you should be getting about 65 to the head and about 95 or 100 to the body. The M4 is much easier than the AK to spray. And then with the A1S, um, I'd say about 80 to the head and 100 to the body, absolutely, because the A1S is just so easy to you know, body shot with. So you can easily get 100% body shot with A1S. So if I swap here, you can click this plus sign and it'll move the bot back. So what I would say is when you're first starting out doing spray training, I would always stay on this first one just as a benchmark. You know, maybe do 5-10 sprays, see if you're way too good for this level, and then push it back. And then, you know, maybe do 5-10 more sprays, see if you're too good. But generally, once you get past 2 and further, it gets pretty hard. Um... If I switch to AK here. But you know, you can still get like a 46. Yeah, this is right where it starts getting hard. With the M4, um, this one's not terribly hard. I mean, 60 to the head, that's pretty okay. You know, I haven't trained this in a while, but I would say 2 is where it starts to get pretty difficult. One thing I'll say is you definitely want no spread enabled. It'll be enabled by default, but do not turn it off. The reason for this is you want to train the raw spray. You don't want to train a spray with randomness. Because let's say you're doing the spray perfectly with your mouse, but the game decides to add a random number and sh shoot one of your bullets off to the side, you're going to get an inaccurate result and bad data, even if you did it perfectly. And you know, it's something that's out of your control. Um, so you want to minimize the amount of randomness um, and only leave it up to your mouse movement. Otherwise, you're going to think that maybe, oh, maybe I was doing something wrong, that bullet missed, or, oh, I must be doing something right, all the bullets hit, even though that might not be true in both cases. So definitely keep no spread. And now a feature that is missing from this map, which I really hope is added in the future, is an average between sprays. This was a thing in CSGO, it would show you the average value that you would get, but in CS2, we're not that lucky. Valve, please fix. What I want you to do is just take the numbers that you get and just kind of keep a mental picture in your head. Okay, I'm getting lots of Let's say I'm spraying for the head, I'm getting lots of 65s, I'm getting lots of 55s, I'm getting lots of 45s, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it can be hard to not psych yourself out when you're doing this, think, oh my gosh, I, that one was so bad, let me try really hard, oh, that one was also so bad. You just gotta focus on doing uh, multiple sprays in a row and just kind of passively seeing how you're doing. I would say that 30 sprays of each combination are what you should aim for, so something like 30 AK headshot sprays, 30 body, and then with whatever M4 you like to use the most, um, so probably A1S for a lot of people, do 30 head and then 30 body, and then I would stop there. Any training over that um, can get a little bit of excessive, but 
you can totally do it. There's nothing stopping you. For example, during COVID, when I had way too much free time, I would do maybe 15 minutes of each. So 15 minutes of head sprays, 15 minutes of body sprays on both guns. It would add up to uh, almost an hour. Um, I believe I did 100 sprays each, so that would take around 15 minutes each. Um, but yeah, that that's just to put it into perspective. That was when I was trying to be a professional player. That didn't work out for me, but you know my spray got way better. So and something I like to do, and you know this was a lot of work, but um, I had a lot of free time back then, was to create a spreadsheet and have all of my values in the spreadsheet as time goes on, so I could see if I'm getting better or stagnating or what. Um, so you can see that spreadsheet here. That I made a little graph back when I did this. Um, and you can see that each, there's a lot, you can see that there's a lot of variance throughout the days. You know, some days will be really good, some days will be really bad, but you can see the trend trends upwards, which means my spray is getting tighter uh, on average as it goes up. You know, the, the lows of yesterday, maybe, you know, a week forward into the future, I never hit that low again. You know, that means that my bottom spray day is better than what it used to be guaranteed. Um, and this is what really boosted my spray to the next level is that my average sprays were just getting way, way, way better. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't whiff sprays super hard like I used to um, from when I started to when I stopped doing this, when I thought, okay, this is probably good enough. It's probably time to stop. And you can see this is how long I did it for to where I started to notice diminishing returns saying, okay, I'm going to focus on other parts of my aim, other parts of my mechanics, uh, like movement, map knowledge map awareness, that kind of stuff. Spray is very basic and anyone can work on it. And I think that anyone at any skill level can always have a better spray. Now going over spray transfers between two targets, more than two targets, a spray transfer is extremely rare. The amount of times that you're gonna be able to get off a spray transfer where the third player dies is really, really low. So what I would do is honestly not practice them too much, but just get used to going from one place to the other. Uh, and keeping your spray tight. So if I start a spray here and then quickly flick over, you know, you can see that a bullet might fly over here, but the point is that the two clusters exist. And you know, this is where the first person's head would be and this is where the second person's head would be. So, and it's, it's pretty hard to get consistent, but that's probably gonna be a second kill if the other guy's not looking at me, you know, but I'm not expecting this bullet to instantly kill the guy. Um, that's the thing about spray trans is you can get pretty lucky if you're good at them. So, um, and you know, I'm not aiming at any targets. I'm just showing generally, uh, and you want to make sure that you can do them both left, uh, left to right and right to left, um, with, with all the guns. Um, but again, this is a very, it's very rare, honestly, that you'll have spray transfer opportunities in the first place. Usually it'll be like a spray, then another spray on another guy. You know, you'll, you'll keep like re-peeking and fighting like this. It's really rare to like have to flick between five people. So I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. Don't neglect it per se, but I, I just wouldn't worry about it over the actual mechanics of spraying and the actual pattern. Another thing that I like to do when I was practicing my spray was to play deathmatch, but with the idea of spraying for the head specifically. So in these clips, you'll see me just spraying um, even at long distances, you know, trying to not go for one taps or like burst fire, just do a full spray on somebody in the distance. Um, this is just more of a realistic scenario. You know, people are going to be moving around. Um, people are going to be peeking you, trying to fight you. So you have to be used to taking long range sprays and being really good at them. Um, there's an old clip of Get Right getting a super long distance spray. And I mean, it was very long ago in Counter-Strike, but... You know, this is something that's actually doable for most players today. Um, it wasn't very doable back then because people didn't really understand. You had to get very good at this uh, in order to actually do it, but people are very good nowadays, so. All right, well, that's all I have to talk about with spray control training. Um, you know, I've done a lot of spray control training in the past, so you know, this advice is from somebody with a lot of experience. So uh, I hope you take my advice seriously and uh, try to use it to improve. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe in the future. I'm going to make a more tutorial type content. Like the video and comment what you'd like to see me talk about next. All right, peace.